Hello everybody, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Um, today is Friday the 26th of March. I'm going to start the video off doing a get ready with me for the day. Probably just going to hang out with the girls here. Um, we're going to drink margaritas tonight, so it's exciting. We're going to do it a different way, which I'll probably try to include in this video so y'all can see. So first thing I'm going to do is use the e.l.f. Poreless um, Putty Primer. I heard it was um, really good, and they are vegan products. So I'm really looking into changing all my products to be vegan. So I had to wash my hands before doing all this, so just didn't include that. Write down below if y'all want. Let me know how y'all are spending your quarantine because I've been trying to stay productive. Like, I've started a workout routine. I started cooking more. So, I guess it's been a good thing. Okay, usually step two for me would be doing my eyebrows, but they are already done. I did them before the video. Step three, I would usually apply my lashes, but I still have my lash extensions. They're not as full as I would like, but um, it's okay because I have a lash appointment tomorrow with Jazz at 12, so I'm excited. So for step three, I'm going to be doing my foundation, and I recently bought this Total Face Sponge from e.l.f. Use wet or dry. So I like that because I don't always like getting up in the middle of my makeup routine and wetting the sponge. But I usually just wet it with like witch hazel or something that I have handy. We have just a little bit I add on top. Just have it do like this and it'll soak it up. And then I just squeeze it. Um, by the way, this is my makeup box. I want to show you guys. I love it. Like I just bought it before I went to Puerto Rico. And I just love it. Like... I feel, I feel so bougie with it. Um, okay, so I have the Fenty Beauty, but I don't use it that much when my skin is dry because it's a very dry foundation. So if you have very oily skin, it is great for you, but it wasn't so great for me. But I think they made a dewy one, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, so the foundation that I'm using is going to be the 24-hour Maybelline. Excuse my nails. I'm... You know, we're in quarantine. Like, you can't even judge me. <laughs> so this is a 24-hour um, Maybelline New York um, foundation. It's the number 330 Toffee Caramel. So I just put a little bit at a time so that I can distribute it. And I usually just dab it in because I don't like for it to smear. So I like for my skin to soak it up before I start spreading it. to be a matteless look but not a dry look all right i'm back and i finished my foundation um i went ahead and set it as well so it is ready for concealer um i just got a new concealer today the elf one because like i said i was i'm trying to switch over to vegan products um this one is 16 hour camo so i heard it's really good so and it's huge like and this was like six bucks so Let's see, I hope it's not too watery because I don't do too well with that. My, ooh, this is kind of light. Like, this is pretty light, but let's see. So I'm just going to use the end of my, my sponge and dab that in. I'm going to be setting it as well, so it's not going to be as bright. But I definitely will want to get a darker color of this. Maybe. I don't know, I like it to be different than the, um, than the foundation. Like, it's a different difference. So when I set it, it's not as, it doesn't look so much like my, my foundation. Right, so this is the concealer. Like I said, it's the e.l.f. E.l.f. 16-hour um, camo pro concealer. And I love it so far. Um, next, I'm going to be using the loose finishing powder from Fit Me in Maybelline line. This works really good. I like it. Um, a friend actually gave me this. JoJo. Shout out to JoJo. And I feel like it doesn't... Um, it doesn't leave patches under your eye. Like, it doesn't patch up the concealer which it was one of my problems when I was, you know, using this other brand that I didn't like at all. So yeah, just gonna put this under my eye, anywhere that I put concealer on. I'm 
guys this is simple makeup like i do this in 10 minutes i'm just it's taking longer for me now because i'm you know explaining it but i usually do my makeup in 10 minutes like 10 15 minutes max with still the baking powder on my face i'm trying not to leave it on there for too long i'm gonna be using the cover fx it's pretty dirty i'm sorry <laughs> um i like to use this contour color right here the purple one i mean the brown one i'm sorry <sighs> okay this angled brush and give it just circular cir cir okay i'm giving up on that word because there's some words i just cannot say I think when you're bilingual, like, there's just some words you cannot say, whether it's in English or whether it's in Spanish. You just can't. Okay, um, I went ahead and contoured my face with the last product that I showed you guys. I'm um, just going to take off this powder real quick. Okay, um, so next I'm going to use the Maybelline Colossal um, Mascara for my bottom lashes. I don't apply mascara on my fake lashes because that is just a no-no. Like, I think everybody knows that. So let me do it and then I'll show y'all what it looks like. So I wanted to show you guys one side and the other side with just one, with just bottom liner. Like, it makes a difference. Alright, so next I'm going to use the e.l.f. Lip plumping gloss this one is new i've never tried it before um i like glasses that have sparkle that's just me i feel like it looks good with um like some of my furry coats that i have i feel like it looks so cute with that i'm gonna soon hope to be doing like um a, like a summer haul because I am going to go shopping soon, so I might as well. But yeah, this is the lip. So this is the finished look. I have the Milani um, highlighter. It's so cheap at Target. This is pretty much all drugstore makeup, honestly. It is the dip brow that I use. Um, I use the Anastasia dip brow in the, in the color medium brown, so... If you have my hair color or, I don't know, skin color, I recommend it. You don't want to have your eyebrows way too dark. But yeah. I'll try to insert pictures here to show you guys what the finish looked like. Some of the pictures that I'll be taking. Hey guys. Hey. We came outside to enjoy the weather since, you know, there's not much to do. And Raleigh. Um, just sitting on the porch waiting for Jojo. Who is who has a surprise for me? Um, she won't tell me what it is. She won't even give me a hint. <laughs> I'm kidding. But um <laughs> she's gonna bring it and I'll show you guys what she ended up getting me. Um we are going to get all the we have all the supplies for the margaritas tonight. We already got the supplies. When? Earlier when we went um, to run errands. Hey, my friend Jojo bought me a surprise. Hold on. <laughs> no, you open it. <laughs> you want to see it? <laughs> Are these lip glosses? Mm -hmm. Oh my god. These colors are perfect. These are lip glosses or? The lip glosses. What do you mean they're not what you thought they were? They're cute. They're not cute. Right? I like these colors. Very neutral. Ooh. That's pretty. I knew you would like that one. <laughs> Favorite one so far. Ooh. I'm so good. And a red. <laughs> This is what she got me, y'all. One of the heads fell off. <laughs>
Ready? Go, go, go! <laughs> Yo, I love our little um shot glass. Yo, I'm so dead. <laughs> Listen to this. Dude up, said, can you 